Like you saw, the Atom had some slight uh, problems with uh, handling uh, uh, 1080p YouTube clips from YouTube. However, uh, it performed be better with the 1080p MKV files, at least uh, in this uh, in this configuration and on our setup right here. Still, what you should know is that both these devices can run all kinds of all kinds of 10 uh, uh, of uh, 720p content. And while AMD uh, says that uh, their device can run uh, all kinds of 1080p content as well as com and comes with an HDMI, uh, on this particular model we had some problems with MKV files. Uh, we managed to run some okay, but most of the MKV files we had didn't uh, run properly, despite the fact that we used what we believe is the best program from seeing, for seeing such content, which is Windows Media Player uh, Classic Home Cinema and the Core AVC Codex. Uh, besides that, 1080p YouTube is fairly playable, so we only had problem with the MKV files. Uh, now let's also, we're going to try and run an interesting test. It's going to, we're going to archive a set of 30 pictures we have here and we're using WinRAR uh, no, yeah, WinRAR on both of these and we're going to press OK and see which one actually manages to finish this faster. Let's go. OK, so we're getting pretty close to the end with one of the of the devices which is the Toshiba with IMD and it managed to finish in let's see let's see 2 minutes and 18 seconds while as you can see the Acer is still working on this and actually I was expecting the, the Atom to be faster in, so in this uh, kind of task but it's actually not So took like 20 seconds extra for the for the atom to finish, which is quite a lot. It's like more than 10% uh, more for for uh, really unpacking uh, for really uh, archiving these two files. And now we'll also try and. We should tr we should tr try and unpack this as well and see which one actually is faster. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. Okay, so let's see which one is actually faster at. Yeah, so once again, the Toshiba, but only by a slightly bit, so Toshiba is definitely faster, the Toshiba with AMD is definitely faster here uh, than the, the Atom at uh, archiving and unarchiving uh, a set of 30 images, but like I said, we had a set of 30 images of around uh, 170 megabytes, so uh, the JPEG images from the camera from the Canon uh, Rebel T2i uh, each uh, picture uh, shot at 15 megapixel so this is what we have here uh, now we're going to try just another thing and that would be opening Windows Movie Maker on both of these Uh, and uh, should be here. You can actually see that uh, the N50 feels a little bit better, a little bit slappier, uh, snappier in uh, in Windows. Uh, you saw that it loaded, uh, it loads things just a little bit faster, and uh, it takes less for. Uh, for you to search in in the Windows menu for things, you saw how fast this one it managed to load this uh, app, uh, the Atom. 
but uh, as you can saw as you managed to see in real life tests uh, the Toshiba managed to outperform it what we're going to do now is import so we go into import cancel okay so we, okay we're going to import a file like this so what we're going to do now is import a file which is going to be this MTS file from the camera we're going to import it on both of these not like this but like this and we're going to uh, see how much it actually takes for uh, for this computer to uh, uh, render some kind of clip like this so let it uh, let's wait for it to load first okay so here we are we're ready to start this test we're going to save the movie for high definition display so we're going to save it as a 1080p okay not sure where we are okay here so we're going to save the movie for high definition display on desktop and the same is here on desktop so it's the same movie it's an MTS file uh, we uh, from my Panasonic camera so let's see uh, which of these two will take longer for edit, uh, to edit this clip and uh, how uh, how long it's like exactly it's going to take for each of the each of these two so let's go okay so uh, both computers managed to finish uh, rendering this clip what you actually got is 12 minutes and 43 seconds for see the results right here 12 minutes 43 seconds for the atom n550 powered acer and 16 minutes and 18 seconds for the amd powered toshiba so definitely a lot faster the n550 but now let's try and play the clip we got first let's see the acer because like i said i rendered it at 1080p 24 uh, bits per second movie and as you can see actually this device ain't able to to play it still it rendered it faster than the Toshiba so if you're looking for a, a mobile laptop uh, that should render uh, video content the uh, the Atom N550 is definitely faster than the the AT uh, hardware right now at least in Windows Movie Maker because there are some other programs that might use uh, the acceleration graphic on the the AMD platform so this one ain't, ain't able to play it let's see if the Toshiba can play the rendered clip a render clip is an uh, WMV file let's see what happens in this case well this one ain't playing it well either i'm not really really sure what happened with the uh, the sound because none of these devices actually got any kind of sound for this rendered clips which is pretty odd if you ask me anyway this is what we we got uh, what we have here in terms of tests uh, I must say that both these computers uh, were running Windows 7 Starter on uh, high performance mode so this is the, be the best you can get uh, on both of them both were stripped of uh, any uh, trial version software and any of the crapware you usually find on such devices so uh, like I said I tried my best to 
to get the best uh, the, you, you can get out of these two. Uh, for more details you should go on the site on netbooklife.net where I've also ran a couple of uh, synthetic tests like crystal mark and PC mark and 3D mark and you're going to find the results posted there on the site uh, what we have here are the windows ratings um, and uh, what we see is that uh, the processor on, uh, on the AMD gets a 2.8 mark while uh, the processor on the uh, the Atom gets a 3.1 mark and uh, uh, besides that graphics are a lot better on the uh, the AMD platform like we already know uh, because this one comes with integrated graphics and this one has better graphics with DirectX uh, X11 and stuff like this okay uh, that's it for now with this comparison for more uh, details please go on the site like I said on netbooklive.net you're going to find the link towards the written post in the description below in this clip thanks that was Mike uh, at netbooklive.net